If you're watching this video, chances are you found yourself in the role of executor of an estate in Ontario. First off, let me just say that I understand this is not an easy position to be in. But in this video, we're going to share three practical tips to help you navigate the real estate portion of the probate process and hopefully save you valuable time and money as well. My goal is to make the process of selling property as an executor as smooth as possible. And best of all, I'm going to keep it simple and straightforward. You have enough on your plate as it is. So let's dive right in. Let's start by understanding your role as an executor. First off, yes, what does it mean to be an executor? In basic terms, it's your job to ensure that the deceased person's wishes are carried out and that their estate is handled properly. Now that might sound like a lot to take care of, but fear not, there are many people and resources available to guide you through this process. Being an executor is a huge responsibility and it's compounded by the fact that you're grieving a friend, relative, or loved one. Furthermore, it's a role that you've likely never been trained for. From identifying and securing the property to overseeing its sale and distribution of the proceeds, you as executor pay, play a crucial role in the estate administration process. My role is to make that real estate piece as easy and stress-free as possible. It's important to recognize that each estate is unique and the responsibilities of an executor can vary depending on the size and the complexity of that estate. And that's why it's essential that you familiarize yourself with your specific duties and seek professional advice if you need it. Remember, you're not expected to navigate this process alone. There are professionals, real estate agents like me and Dean, accountants and lawyers who specialize in estate administration, and they can be a valuable tool for you to provide guidance and support along the way. The first tip we're going to talk about is to choose your realtor wisely. First off, finding the right realtor for the job is important. Selling a property as part of an estate is a big deal, so you want to make sure you've got someone you can trust by your side. To start the process overall, you're going to need a valuation on the property in question. So the, common, the most common way to go about this is to engage three realtors and to request an opinion of value. When you're reaching out to these realtors for that opinion, um, take the opportunity to interview them too. Find out about their marketing strategies, get a feel for their personality and see if you can envision working with them down the road. You won't be ready to list the property for some time. On average, it can take nine months to a year, depending on how long it takes to work its way through probate. But knowing who you plan to work with and getting their help from the get-go will go a long way to easing some of that stress and pressure. Also, consider seeking recommendations from trusted friends, family members, or professionals who have experience with estate sales. A personal referral can often lead you to a realtor who is not only skilled, but also compassionate and understanding of your unique situation. Take your time in selecting the right realtor for you. And remember, this is someone who will be by your side throughout the process. So it's essential that you find someone you feel comfortable working with and who understands your needs. The second thing we're going to talk about is how to get ahead on pre-sale prep during that probate period. So planning for the sale. There are so many things you can get done during the probate period. And if you use that time to tackle all the things you'd normally do before putting a house on the market, think cleaning, decluttering, staging, all of that stuff ahead of time. By doing the heavy lifting early on, you'll be way ahead of the game once probate is done. Trust me, future you will thank you for the time you put in now. So consider creating a checklist of all the tasks that need to be accomplished and set a timeline to ensure that you're staying on track, whether it's painting walls, updating fixtures, or even landscaping the yard. Tackling these projects early can help enhance the property's appeal and potentially increase its value down the road. And don't forget 
power of staging. A well-staged home can make a significant difference in how quickly it sells and the price it fetches. If you're unsure where to start, your agent may discuss hiring a professional stager who can work with you to create a welcoming and attractive space that will appeal to potential buyers. The third and final tip we're going to talk about is looking for the right fit. So last but certainly not least, it's finding the perfect realtor for you. It's not just about who promises the highest price. It's about finding someone who gets you, who understands your needs and has the experience to back it up. When you're interviewing realtors, pay attention to how they communicate and whether their marketing plans align with your goals. Remember, this is a partnership, so finding the right fit is key. Consider scheduling a few face-to-face -face meetings or virtual consultations with these realtors to get a sense of their personality and their approach. Ask them about their experience with estate sales. Uh, ask them uh, what their, lo their local knowledge is and what their strategies are for effectively marketing your properly, property, pardon me. And don't be afraid to trust your instincts. If you feel a connection with a particular realtor and you believe they have your best interest at heart, they may be the right fit for you. And there you have it, three simple tips to help you navigate the real estate side of being an executor. Remember, it's okay to ask for help along the way. And I'm available, Dean's available, we're available to support you every step of the journey. If you're an executor in Ontario looking for guidance, support, and compassion when selling a property, don't hesitate to reach out. Together, we can make the process as smooth as possible. All of our contact details are in the notes down below. Thanks for watching.